Petr Cech, ex-Chelsea man, of course, talking about the current Chelsea goalkeeper, Kepa, saying he struggled last season. That is unquestionable. But the club invested in him and gave him a long-term contract because they believe he has the qualities and attributes to be successful. Additions will be made to the squad, perhaps even in goal, and this is what is being discussed now. But nobody is giving up on Kepa, and we all hope he has a great future. What's your, what's your take on it? Is there a way back for Kepa uh, this season at Chelsea, Jules? I think what Peter Cech forgot to say at the end was, but if there's a great offer coming in, we let him go, no problem. Just please send them over and, I'll, <laughs> and, and look at them because Peter Cech was not going to say anything different, really. You know, if Kepa stays because they can't sell him, because they want to sell him, but if they can't sell him, you would not have one to say negative stuff about him if he stays in your squad for another season. So Peter Cech being as clever as we know he is and, and very diplomatic as well, came up with, with those quotes and again, it's the right thing to do. But I can guarantee you, if a good offer comes, he will go, they will sell him and they will invest in another good goalkeeper who think would be better than him, whether that's Edouard Mendy, the, the Senegalese goalkeeper in Reims, who, sorry, in, um, in, uh, in, in France, in Dijon, sorry. Uh, whether it's him and you give him a bit of time to, to, to come to the top or you go straight into a Yano Black, for example, and spend a lot of money on him, but at least you know exactly what you're getting, then Lampard and Czech will have to decide. But make no mistake that Kepa is on the market right now and if a good offer comes, they will sell him and Chelsea are looking for good offers for him. But if he, if he was to stay, then I think Czech was very intelligent and clever in the way he said, of course, we're not going give to give up on him. He will be in our squad. And I guess they will need him if they can't sell him and can't replace him either. Milan, uh, Chelsea have been linked for quite some time, haven't they, with uh, Ajax's uh, Cameroonian goalkeeper, Andre Onana. Is that link very much still active and alive? Uh, yeah, that's active and alive, although it's very quiet around uh, Andre Onana right now. You don't hear any rumours, you don't hear any contact that he has with clubs now. But it's really active because he made an agreement last summer. He renewed his contract at Ajax, but made an agreement with the club. If a good international big club comes to Amsterdam and wants to pay a certain amount of money, then I'm allowed to leave. Uh, Ajax made an agreement with Van der Beek, with Frankie de Jong, with Martijn de Ligt. And they always uh, stood up to their word. So if Chelsea comes to Amsterdam with an offer for Anana, they won't, do, uh, they won't refuse it. They won't, they won't, yeah, there won't be any obstacles on the road. Um, I would go personally for Andre Onana. He's a really good goalkeeper. He's really good on the line. They call him in Amsterdam, they call him the cat from Cameroon. Um, but he's also really good on the ball, with the ball. Um, and in the, in the type of play that Lampard wants to play, he would be a very good goalkeeper, uh, suitable for Chelsea. Um, and I, to be honest, I expect him to leave uh, at the end of this uh, transfer mm. uh, period. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.